Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Voidiger. We are back once again, jumping in for our second ever run and seeing what we can make work. Absolutely loved the first run we played of this and you guys in the comment section really seem to like it too. It also got great views so definitely want to keep this going. We're going to jump on in to leave the camp. Uh, we're just going to play as the default character but... I would like to, uh, we still want to keep the combo, but I'd like to change my gun. A great choice if you feel like getting up close and personal right off the bat. That's amazing. And then colour, like I said, we're just going to stick with the turtle melon green. And apparently rogue is the the um, difficulty we should be playing. Um, so really good to know from you guys. Thank you for letting me know that. And yeah, you guys left a lot of different tips, mainly about head bonks. Um, ooh, is this a new first area? Is that, by the way, is that, like, a good way, yeah, I guess, uh, I keep, kept forgetting if there's, like, a good way to, like, destroy stuff without using ammo. It's this. It's smickety smack. But, yeah, main thing people were saying is that bonking, like, jumping on things' heads, is, like, real, real good. Like, one of the best things in the game. So, loot vortex right off the bat, and we get ourselves the scrappy, which could be pretty good. But yeah, I want to be destroying all the stuff to get loot here. Okay. Reload a little bit. Did we have the scrappy in the last run? It feels like maybe we did. How do we reload? Uh, it's not square, which is strange. It should be square. Maybe I have to rebind that. What does square do at the moment? I don't know. Anyways, I'm yeah, I'm playing controller. I don't know if controller is recommended for this game, by the way. So if you guys think it's not Kind of let me know, because I just thought, based on the art style of this game and the fact that I play Gunjaman controller, that would be like the best way to go. But yeah, I wasn't actually entirely sure if that was the case. Nice. Get all the stuff we can. I really like the way that like all the animations and like stuff feels when you can grab currency. It's just everything just feels really fluid. Gotta remember I can sprint too. I keep forgetting about that. Okay, so this is a shotgun. Yeah, so stunning enemies like that. By the way, apparently these things are just like little critters that will just like move around and do stuff. Like, they're, they're not something I have to kill. Okay, got you. I got you. I don't know if I can kill these little squid ghost things at some point, but I'll keep beating them up for now. And then let's uh, get going. So, what's map again? Okay, there you go. There's map. Okay, yeah, so we can go up this way. You're doing a little bubble. I'm sorry, little fella. I've completely conked you out, I guess. Right, keep moving up this way. Uh, recycle our weapon. We don't want to do that right now, do we? So I don't know like about bigger enemies like that if I want to still be bonking them. I guess really it's going to be a learning experience of just trying things and seeing what seeing what works and what doesn't. Like one thing I am noticing is rooms don't have a lot of enemies in them. They have a lot of stuff going on, but they don't have an awful lot of enemies in them, which is curious. Like roguelikes I feel like often go the opposite way and kind of shove as many things in rooms as they can. This game's really not like that. This is the only way in this room, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Go back over this way. I don't know how, like, valuable meleeing with my gun is in terms of combat. I, I doubt it's very useful. I think it's mainly just for a way to destroy stuff without using ammo, I guess. I guess I could try it out. No harm. Uh, so there's our shop. We don't really have a lot for the shop right now. We'll come back to you. So I, I remember before it was fairly expensive. Crack that open. I can double stomp there. That's kind of great. Oh. Are you... Are you our boss? That's pretty cool. I like that. Got you. We, we haven't actually, like, unlocked the ability to fully kill this boss yet, so I'm not going whole hog. So let's see. 
Okay, so you can kill enemies with the uh, with that ability there with your weapon sw uh, swings. It's just not super effective. Let's uh, go into the shell home. So we can get 20 currency or we can get a golden sword. Um, defeated enemies explode to a ring of ice spikes. We've dealt with this one before. It was annoying, but like not terrible. Yeah, I've got to be a little more cautious. Got to be a little bit more cautious. Let's let's get out the scrappy. Oh, bugger. A lot of health to lose there. Luckily, the people did tell me in this game, when you have less health, uh, enemies drop more health. So it's like a uh, nuclear throw isn't that way. Which I really, really like. Really appreciate Awesome. Now we get our extra currency. We also get our item choice as well. Burn boot attack on stomp. Stronger knockback and rat infested loot. Honestly, the rat infested loot was really good last time, but I want to see what these stomp items are like because I've not actually used these yet. And I feel like they could be pretty good. So it's like floating around me. How, how do I stomp? Is, is a stomp an attacking move I have to do? Or is that just when I bonk an enemy on the head? Uh, I guess I could find out by just looking at my power-ups. Um, these... This burny boo helps you burn style. Um, quickly check the settings and the key bindings, I guess. And just see. Gamepad. Is there a specific thing for stomp? No, there isn't. So I assume it is just jumping on an enemy's head. Oh, I didn't realise there was, like, aim modes and... What's Orbit? Classic. I should try this out, because... So I know what Orbit is, so like, like, let's see what Classic is. That feels quite nice. And then what's free? Uh, so sorry to do this during a run, but it's just figuring things out, isn't it? Okay, so free... Free isn't really what you want. I'd say Classic is the best. Classic felt, felt pretty good there. I already should have looked at this before. Classic... And then aim assist amount, I'll, I'll always be happy to whack that up a bit. Uh, constant aim assist. I don't, I, th I don't think I want that. Aim speed, camera speed. Camera range. We'll up camera range a little bit. Should up it to 100%. Actually, it's a little bit much. It's all about figuring things out here, isn't it? We'll go down to like 75%. Oh, we'll go 70. Um... Camera speed, aim speed, I don't think I want to change anything with, with that. I don't, really haven't looked at a lot of these. I should have looked a bit more. If it, by the way, if there's any settings people would recommend changing, then please do let me know, because that is going to be something that I'm currently going to be uh, pretty oblivious about. Is the boss still here? I don't think they're, they are, are they? Just keep on moving through. Okay, so that, that did indeed do a burn stomp there. In fact, that did quite a lot. What the fuck was that thing? <laughs> I'm a bit confused about that. Hurt yourself for five shards. Uh, I think we've got pretty low HP right now, so I'm not going to do that. Let's go back to the shop, actually. Uh, we can probably get some stuff at the shop. I don't know if I can teleport at all. I'm not quite sure. Hello, shopman. What do you have for me? Rat infested loot again. Uh, beacon barrage during battle. Hit the jackpot. Uh, power up. Power up gamble. Combo stomp burns. Let's try that out. Shop discount. Oh, I can't quite afford that. Water sprint during combat. We'll take whatever this power up loot is. More find out what those are. Oh. Toxic souls. What the fuck? What happened there? I'm confused. Did I buy a loot box or did I get an upgraded version of an item? Like, did I get like a combo? These slippers are imbued with the um, 
an atomic power. A combo stomp with these will bring um, forth real skeleton burns. When you land on the ground, they release. Okay, cool. And these are attached to your boots to make them part poison when stomping on people's heads. Okay, so we've kind of got a stomp build going on right now. Which is interesting because I need to get better at stomping enemies. So it's actually pretty good for me because it's given me a hell of a lot more reason and incentive to stomp right now. I hear you, boss. I know you're around here. I don't care for you right now. Boom, Bray. I love that you can sprint through stuff as well to, to destroy it. Rather nice. How do I combo stomps? I'm not doing that right, am I? That's a combo between multiple different enemies? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I can't... It definitely taught me how to combo in the tutorial. I have definitely forgotten. Like, I know there's a specific way to combo. I've completely forgotten how that how that is done. Apologies. Nice. Okay, so we've got all the power-ups done now. Oh, here's our boss. Can I... One thing I need to figure out is that if I can stomp bosses. And if I should be stomping bosses. I doubt it. Oh, no, no, okay. That was pretty useful. That was pretty darn useful. My burn stomp boot thing doesn't seem to be super common, though. It seems to go away every now and again. More ammo there, lovely. I'll take that for my other weapon. How the fuck do you combo them? I'm trying to figure it out, but it bounces me. Like, isn't it like you jump and then hold jump again or something? I, that's what I thought it was, but that doesn't seem to be doing anything. Okay, here's my boot again. Oh, really? Really? My burn boot? What a waste. Does it say anywhere? Can I, like, see how I combo them? Controls. Gamepad. Because I really do not remember. Someone will remind me in the comments, I'm sure, because I can't remember at all. Uh, where are we going? The boss is in the room below us, okay. I, even if it, the, the stomping isn't doing much to this guy, I want to keep doing it to get myself better at it. By the way, someone told me that, that that little crystal thing that I just stepped on just means that once I've pressed on it, I can leave the room again. So until that is pressed on, I'm stuck in the room with the boss and then after. Also, I keep I keep trying to fire at the enemy and not being able to and realizing it's because I'm sprinting. You can't fire while you're sprinting. But I'm also trying to get into the habit of sprinting more because I'm not sprinting enough. God damn them burn boots are pretty awesome. It is poisoning him, though, when I'm doing that. I just don't know how to combo. I'm very forgetful about how to do that. Um, and then, map-wise, you've gone all the way over there. Move in. I really like the design of this boss. Oh, that was a very stupid hit by me there. 
Oh, another very, very stupid hit by me. There you go, nice one. Oh, I completely forgot there's a second phase. Completely forgot there's a second phase. Oh! He, like, chased me down there. It's kind of a rough, like, mechanic to have on the first boss fight. Like, I get it, but goddamn. Maybe it's like there's something that triggers this that I'm not knowing. Also, the game feels really loud. I apologize. Um... I've got it quite low already, but it just feels crazy, crazy loud while I'm in these boss fights. Like, even still now, oh my god. Also, like, that made me get hit, that did. Boy, he keeps running away from me. I'm not a fan of that. Kind of wish that once once I've got him, once I've like completed all of the rooms, it'd be nice if he just stayed in one room with me. I guess that's why you probably want to be like taking away portions of their health as soon as you unlock the ability to, so you don't have to keep doing this back and forth business. Right, we're gonna have to buy a health jar here just in case. Ah! You got him. Okay. That was that was tricky. Flaws in this this game are quite long. Um Shard Gamble. Frog boot frog boot attack on stomp and stompable fire buttons appear. Let's take the frog boot. Exit world. Let us go. Pretty good first floor. Completely forgot the boss would have a second phase though. Then what do we do here again? Okay, I don't have enough to feed you. Sacrifice max health for three random bundles. Swap max... Uh, sort of, let's do the max health for three random bundles. Let's see how that works out for us, shall we? So we got... Um, health jar bombs. Pick up health jar definitive edition. Water bullet chance. Here we've got two instant corrupted power-up bundles, combo stomp rats, and stronger knockout. I don't know what that is, but I like the sound of it. Oh, this is a trade. Um, I will trade for bounty shells because I'm not. I'm not doing the combos right now because I don't know how they work. Trade a gun for that. Trade my other gun for grenade on reload and a let. I will trade my scrapper for that. Why not? And then here we've got water bullet chance. I don't know what this is. I'm gonna I'm gonna try that out. I like the word I like the word health in there. And then upgrades here. Twenty percent faster respawn seems great. Okay, cool. Right, let's go. I really like this little middle zone between levels, by the way. Really like that. Porcos, vile creatures, scavengers, no respect for life, no respect for themselves. Mm. All that matters is their precious mud baths. Ominous. What the? What's going on with that guy? Trade um, definitive edition for an upgrade. Oh, actually, let's quickly do a, a power up check. Health jar definitive edition features a whole new explosive take with ray tracing disabled to accomplish frame rate as high as twenty five. Literally no idea what that means.
Holy shit. My my boots. My boots go crazy. My boots, they go crazy. Got a shed there. Got a cave there. Let's take, have a look in the shed first. Shed's pretty much nothing. Cave will be a challenge room, I'm guessing. We've got this. Do not move when the traffic light is red for HP. Oh, is that max HP? Um, extremely strong gravity that pulls you and projectiles to the ground. Uh, do not dodge grounded. I'm going to try this one because we've done the traffic lights before and it looks like it gives me max HP. Um, so I'm a little annoyed. I'm a, no, I'll be honest, I'm more than a little annoyed. I didn't move. I got knocked back by my weapon, and that counts, apparently, which, in my opinion, it most certainly shouldn't count. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of pissed. <laughs> That's really frustrating. I didn't move. <laughs> Why should my weapon knockback count as me moving? I didn't press movement key at all. Um, what, why did I get hit for so much damage when that room ended? I'm so confused right now. G give me some HP. What the fuck's going on? Okay, I'm so confused right now. Was that, was that on my side? I think it was, wasn't it? It'd be nice if I could see the upgrades I was getting. I, I, I can't, I can't see any of this. Uh, we'll, we'll take the uh, the boots again. Okay, that was stressful and a bit stupid, but I will accept it for what it is and move on with my life. Okay, that was crazy, but... Trade power up for upgrade bundle. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna go with my burn boots. I didn't actually see what that third upgrade did then. It's kind of stupid of me. <laughs> I really like this little animation here. Watch out! It's so cute. Whoa, hello. Um, press pick up pumpkin. <laughs> that guy is way bigger than I thought he'd be. What the fuck? I kind of love it. Ah! Birds are angry at me for, for stepping on their nest. I apologize. Thank you. Dude, this, this little dude we've got here going on is pretty awesome. He seems pretty darn good. Some enemies I can just jump on and kill. It's kind of awesome. Save myself some ammo. Gotta to, got to remember which enemies can I can do that with. Honestly though, it seems like the tactic in this game is jump on every single enemy you possibly can, no matter what. Like, shooting is for suckers. Shoot, if you shoot, you're a rube. Ooh, Breacher. Yes, I will try that out. So there's our shop. We'll come back to you. Ammo. Probably should have taken that on my other gun. I only got one ammo out of that. Here's our boss. Good. 
Preacher isn't doing an awful lot to him. Ooh, what the hell? It fired like a weird bullet at the end there. I really like the way this game chooses to telegraph things. Was it a very, a very different way? A burn boot is back. Oh my god. Okay. One lot of him taken care of. What's this enemy doing exactly? <gasps> Not what I was expecting at all. I need to remember how to combo. That was a combo there. But I, I'm sure you can combo on a single enemy, right? I thought you could. Um, do not stomp on anything. Ugh. That's going to be a little bit tough to uh, resist. Are those little feet enemies, or is that my pumpkin buddy? Ow. Enemies do a lot of damage in this game. I'm not exactly sure how I'm meant to be using this breacher. I'm pretty sure it's a shotgun. Get that guy upgraded. I'll try the stompable bullet buttons. Recycle my weapon. I'll, I'll recycle my base shotgun, why not? Yes, I was hoping for HP. Okay. I really like these challenge rooms. They're a lot of fun. Where am I going next? Back this way. We can check out our shop now as well. Why the hell not? What's going on in here then? More upgrades, 40% faster respawn. We can get another upgrade for this guy. Definitely upgrade this guy, yeah. He's got five upgrades. Upgrade this as well. Seems like getting something to max is always worth it because you get some currency back. And does a cute animation as well. And it gives you an item too. Um... Spirit assist on kill, faster sprint speed, oh hell yes. Crab boot attack on stomp, I probably should have taken that to be honest. Anyways, let's get going. We're going down through here. Oh my god, so much just happened. So much just happened. Oh, there's a little, like, secret room over there, maybe? Guess I maybe have to have something specific to get to that. Health. Hell yes. So there's a button there. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so it just spawns a, a button that can do stuff for me during combat. I like that. These ones actually do have to smack. And then there's one of those. My boy is back. Button. That's, that's really cool. I love that. And I think... I, I'm not sure if it would regularly bounce, but we've got the bullet bouncer thing, which is, I think, making it bounce, which is even better. Here's our boss again. Ooh, new attack there. Okay. Might want to spend some time taking out the other enemies in the room here. So they are a little treacherous. Is that is big guy fucked off already? Oh no, he's not. He's still in the room. He's just created another part of the room for himself. The hecticness has really upped itself to another level on this run, and I'm loving it.
Is he spawning these mushroom guys? I think he is, isn't he? What happens when I run out of ammo, by the way? I haven't run out of ammo yet, and I'm not sure what happens there. Do I just have to keep swinging at them? Okay, so he's he's well and truly fucked off. I'm glad I got that faster sprint. That's really making things a lot better. Where's the shop again? Okay, I'm going to go to the shop first because I have enough for another boot attack and I would love another boot attack. A little bit of a long way around, but come in here. Hello. Hello. Yes. I want more boot attacks. They are really fun. And very, very useful. Although it seems they don't recharge out of combat, which is understandable because there's a lot of downtime in this game. But at the same time, it's like, oh, <laughs> I wish it did. Oh my god, bad hit. The second phase of this guy seems like it's going to be difficult. I've got like a permanent cycle of my attacks now though, which is nice. Oh, bollocks. It's a really, really bad hit. This weapon is also not long for this world right now, which is sad. Okay, so first phase is done. I need all of that, please. Thank you. As I said, I think second phase of this guy is going to be kind of nightmarish. Luckily, I think this, it seems like the second phases have less health. Ah, bugger. Did that at the worst possible time to do it. Where's my skeleton, buddy? My, uh, my pumpkin guy, even. Nah, this, this guy feels like he's going to kill me. Bugger off again. Can't even buy HP at the moment. I think the Breacher is just not a great weapon for this, I'll be honest. Dude keeps jumping out the way of my stomp attacks as well. I'm not doing a lot of damage to him either. I'm very nearly out of ammo. Are you moving again? Really? Yeah, I gotta say, I'm not a fan of the I'm not a fan of the bosses moving to room, like just running from room to room this much. Like I I kind of like the idea, but like once I'm once once it's the only thing I have left to do on the floor. I'm kind of like, hey, just, just, just let me fight you, please. <laughs> oh, God, this gun, this gun's trash. Did get ammo for it there, though. Man, that was a rough run. So, observations from this run. F observations from this run. For one. I need to learn how to combo stomps, because I don't know how to do that. <laughs> Two, where the fuck did my pumpkin guy go? He just, like, fucked off halfway through the run and never respawned. Like, is is that intentional? Like, I, I think I, I think familiars can die, 
but like I would assume that they respawn unless they can only respawn on the next floor, which must be the case. And two, goddamn, this game's hard. <laughs> that that's that boss had a lot and a lot and a lot of HP, uh, and then it had a second phase which had a lot and a lot and a lot of HP. I think I did just have a really bad gun, that breacher. I don't think I was using it very effectively, but it didn't feel very good. Um, I kind of wish I was stuck with the scrapper that we had earlier on, but still, I had a lot of fun with that run and we're figuring out more. We didn't really make it that far. Uh, also, something that I'm noticing about this game is we only got to the second floor and we didn't even beat the boss and this run was 35 minutes long. I don't know how many floors this game has, but these runs are going to be very long by the looks of it. Either way, it's a shorter episode, I know, but we're learning the basics here, so it's going to be from for these early episodes. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.